Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. In the next few episodes, I'm just gonna talk about MIDI editing. I know that a lot of people don't like Reaper's MIDI editing capabilities compared to software like Fruit, Fruit Loops, Fruity Loops, and Ableton, and Logic Pro, and stuff like that. So the first thing I like about Logic is it having dedicated MIDI and audio tracks. Reaper doesn't, which frees you in so many ways, but when it comes to MIDI versus audio, there's really no instance in my life that I can think of where I wanna put an audio file on a MIDI track, or vice versa. So I I like to have dedicated recording tracks because let me show you let's say I came up with a melody and I want to quickly jot it down in Reaper I gotta double click on the timeline create a track I gotta go to input MIDI and I can set it to all MIDI or whatever let's set it to my master key all channels then I gotta put an instrument on my channel so I can right click on it go to instruments and let's bring up labs and then I gotta arm this track and then I gotta play Right? So that's a lot of steps from having an idea, going to Reaper, or opening Reaper, and getting to jot down that idea. And if you're like me, you may forget by the time that you set this whole thing up. So what I do is that I have the same exact hotkey as Logic, which is Command Option S, I hit it, and now I'm writing. So that's way easier for me, and I'll show you how I did this. So what I did was I created a track like this, a blank track, and the first thing I wanna do is to toggle automatic record arm when track selected. So that way, when I'm switching between MIDI instruments, I don't need to arm anything, I don't need to unarm the previous one, I can just switch between them. Next, I'm gonna set the MIDI to my MIDI controller, which is currently just a really basic one. Then I want to have also a by default MIDI track, some kind of basic like piano sound. And for that, I like to use Labs because Labs is pretty lightweight loads pretty fast so it's not as high quality as some other stuff i have like play which is east west or even grand rhapsody piano by waves but it sounds nice and it's good for jotting ideas down and then let's call it something as well let's just call it a midi track and now i'm going to save this whole shebang as a track template so i can just go save tracks the track template and i give it a name now for this track to work i'm going to just put a name in front of it now if I go to my track templates, we just created this one. The reason I put a one there is that because I want this to be on the top of my track templates list. So next, I go to my actions list and I search for load track template number one. And I set that to command option and S. So now whenever I want to create a MIDI track, I can really quickly just press it and I'm already writing. If I want to change the sound from here, I always have my mixer kind of visible on the side. Watch the last episode of Rapid Fire Repair Tutorials if you don't know how to do that. And now I can right click here, go quick replace effects, and then I can quickly change it to, let's use Grand Rhapsody Piano. And you know, some of these VSTs take longer to load because they're high quality samples. And there you go. I also have this audio recording track. And this one, as you can see, looks different. It has a big meter, so I can, you know, do sound check and stuff like that. It's by default set to record input one, and I can quickly change that if I'm using another input. And also if I go to my input effects, I have the Rio tune in case I want to tune my guitar. And actually Rio tune doesn't work so well for bass. So I have this guitar tuner mono as well. These are input effects. You know, they don't clutter up my plugins list. And I've already set the monitoring off as well because I monitor using my own interface. So that's how I quickly jot down ideas whether it's an audio from a guitar or something I want to get down or it's like a MIDI thing that I want to quickly use to jot down some ideas so that gets me closer to having somewhat of a dedicated MIDI or audio track that I can quickly use to jot ideas down with so in this episode I'm just showing you this very basic one and in the next episode I'm gonna go into the MIDI editor now I would admit that Reaper's MIDI editor is a little bare bones but with some customization there's really nothing you can't do with it so I'm gonna show you how I customize mine using some very basic hotkeys and very basic mouse modifiers so stay tuned for that. That comes out tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.